Poseidon Energy was the primary provider of renewable and non-renewable energy to much of the United States. While oil and gas were their main industries, even having a subsidiary in Mexico, Poseidon explored other ventures as well. Some were well within a typical energy company's scope, like providing alternative sources of energy through solar power, and others were not, like their Archimedes Project, Phoenix Combat Implants, and Project Semily. When one electrical engineer grew tired of traditional means of power, he left Poseidon Energy to start mass fusion in 2043. Carl Oslo wanted to provide a clean source of energy to the people. His clean power initiative focused on developing affordable sources of energy based on nuclear fusion. However, the company was lying about their energy. While they claimed it was through nuclear fusion, all their energy infrastructure like junction boxes and plutonium wells were fission based. It wasn't until 2066 when the company created the first ever fusion core that mass fusion started to provide clean nuclear fusion energy. However, by that time, the 20 years of infrastructure was deemed too costly to replace. Mass fusion would continue to dump their nuclear waste, doing their best to cover up their biggest lie.